Hey guys, it's me and Miley. Say hi, Miley. We are going to read a book that is about my favorite book character. This is Splat the Cat. He is so adorable, y'all. He is my absolute favorite. And the artwork in this book is just beautiful. You'll love all the funny pictures. Splat the Cat always has his little mouse friend named Seymour with him. So we'll see what kind of a mess they get into. All right, Miley, lay down and get ready to listen. So everybody get comfy and get ready to read the story Splat and the Cool School Trip by Rob Scotton. You know, with us not being at school, we've missed um, a field trip. So I figured we could read about one. It's Penguin Day, cried Splat as he woke from his favorite dream. Splat's class was going to the zoo, and Splat was too excited to sleep. I can't wait to see the penguins, said Splat. They have big round eyes and walk with a waddle. They're the best, he added. Seymour nodded. Splat got ready for school. Did you know penguins love to swim? Asked Splat. Seymour nodded. Then Splat remembered something Mrs. Wimpy Dimple said. You can't come because mice scare the elephants, said Splat. I'm sorry, Seymour. So Splat went to school, leaving a disappointed Seymour behind. But Seymour wanted to go to the zoo, and he had a plan. Miss Seymour, he said. He's reading a book about airplanes. What do you think that means? At cat school, after Splat and his class boarded the bus, Mrs. Wimpy Dimple asked a question. Which animal is your favorite? The giraffe, said Plank. He's really tall. The monkey, said Kitten. She's so cute. The elephant, said Spike. He's so strong. Look at their cute little drawing. Penguins, cried Splat. I can't wait to see the penguins. There's his drawing. He's got four penguins in their picture and it says penguins are cool. Percy, Pickles, Paul, and Popsicle. I think those are good penguin names. The bus rattled along the road. and soon arrived at the zoo. Let's go and see the penguins first, cried Splat. Later, Splat, Mrs. Wimpy Dimple sighed. I can't wait, said Splat. Look at her holding on to his tail. He's so super excited. Look, a giraffe, said Plank. He can reach high branches. Look, a monkey, cried Kitten. She's so furry. Look, an elephant, said Spike. He's so strong. They're cool, sighed Splat. But they're not penguins. Splat looked up and pointed at something in the sky. Is it a bird? He asked. No, cried the cats. Is it a plane? He asked. Well, sort of, cried the cats. It's Seymour. Seymour made a paper airplane and came flying in. Seymour waved, but then lost his balance and crashed right into the elephant. Uh-oh, said Splat. Seymour stared at the elephant and the elephant stared at Seymour. And then, mouse, cried the elephant. Uh-oh, said Splat. The elephant was so frightened, he trumpeted, ran away, and jumped over a wall. I guess Mrs. Wimpy Dimple was right, said Splat. Elephants are afraid of mice. A 
Uh-oh. The class continued around the zoo until they finally arrived at the penguin pool. Hooray, cheered Splat. But Splat's hooray didn't last long. A sign on the wall read, due to an elephant breaking the pool, the penguins cannot come out today. Sorry. How do you think he's gonna feel? Probably gonna be very sad and disappointed, huh? What? No penguins, said Splat. No penguins, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Everybody back on the bus. Splat was so disappointed. Look at him down here. He's just pouting. He's so sad. Seymour was dismayed. It was his fault that Splat couldn't see the penguins. So he thought about how he could make things right. He peeked into the penguin house. Without any water to swim in, all the penguins were huddled inside. Seymour had an idea. Hmm, he said, follow me. And they did. The bus rattled back to cat school. What's different about the bus this time? You see all those penguins on top? Uh-oh. Splat wandered home. Look, he's still so sad. He doesn't know about Seymour's surprise, does he? He played with his dinner. Stared at the TV. And then went to bed. But Splat couldn't sleep. He heard a splashing noise coming from the bathroom. It got louder. He decided to investigate. Investigate means to check something out to see what's going on. He hears plip, plop, splash, plip, plop, splash. Something was moving behind the shower curtain. He gulped. Splat pulled the shower curtain open and to his amazement, penguins, he cried. Look at all those penguins in that bathtub. My goodness. It's penguin day after all. The end. That was such a silly story. I hope you like Splat the Cat just as much as I do. Until next time, bye.